the GBI now says the man who shot and killed Shamir Una Kony thought she was a home invader. The shooting happened around 7.30 Wednesday morning at a home on Woodland Street in Dublin. After firing shots, the GBI says the shooter realized the victim was someone he knew. They say they'll pass their investigation to the local district attorney who will decide if the man should be charged. Meanwhile, the city says it's working to keep crime down after two deadly shootings this week. Celine Air have talked with city leaders about a proactive approach they hope helps keep folks in the community safe. This week, Dublin saw two fatal shootings over three days, apparently unrelated. Police cannot do this alone. I've said this before and I'll say it again today, we have to have community help. Which is why Dublin Police Chief Keith Moon is thankful for state resources, along with help through the Lawrence County Sheriff's Office. We work closely together. Um, we have a good working relationship. We have good lines of communication. On Tuesday, Sheriff Larry Dean announced his team is offering additional patrol support to city police. It's trying to drive down uh, some of these uh, criminal activities that are going on. It's also a proactive step. We're out uh, interacting, speaking with the community and maybe getting some information. And what we're hoping for is information to avert something happening in the future. Dublin City Council member Benny Jones said it's a new step in the right direction. I'm glad of that. That's what we, I mean, that's what we've been needed there. But he said extra patrolling isn't affordable long term. Instead, he hopes people get more involved in their community and less involved in bad circles. Shouldn't always young people looking for things to do, but Let's just be real. We have to get them early. We have to catch them early before the streets get them. He said many Dublin groups plan events for the youth. We've done things like that and we'll continue to do things like that in our community. So it's plenty for people to do. That includes after school programs, national night out and community movie nights. He said the public participation hasn't always been the strongest and he hopes that changes. Reporting in Dublin, Celine Air 13 WMAZ News.